story to tell. The Hobart class air warfare destroyer is said to be one of the most powerful warships in the Royal Australian Navy. HMAS Brisbane D-41, named after the city of Brisbane, Queensland, is the second ship of this class. Led by her sister, HMAS Hobart, the class plays an important role in surface warfare operations for the service. Brisbane was launched on 15 December 2016 and officially entered service on 27 October 2018. She is known as the Steel Cat and has taken on three existing battle stars by name for prior service in the Royal Australian Navy. Brisbane is built to Hobart class standards, with a full load displacement of 6,250 tons, a length overall of 147.2 meters, a maximum beam of 18.6 meters, and a draft of 5.17 meters. The Hobart's propulsion system is the combined diesel or gas turbine arrangement consists of two General Electric Marine Model 7 LM2500 SA MLG38 gas turbines, each generating 23,500 horsepower. There are also two Caterpillar diesel engines, each providing 7,580 horsepower. These drive two propeller shafts, fitted with wart sealer controllable pitch propellers. The ship's maximum speed is over 28 knots, with a range of over 5,000 nautical miles at 18 knots. One of Hobart's top advantages is that she is equipped with the Aegis Combat System, which is the latest, most advanced version of the United States for their allies. Aegis is an integrated high-tech, combat system, the ship's sensors are built around this system, with a Lockheed Martin and Spy 1 DS band main radar. The radar equipped on Hobart is capable of detecting and tracking up to 200 targets at once, including all types of enemy missiles and the ballistic missiles in a range of more than 300 kilometers. An ultra-electronic sonar system's integrated sonar system is fitted, which includes a hull-mounted sonar and a towed variable depth sonar, built up from a quad-directional active passive receiver array, a passive torpedo detection array and a high-powered towed sonar source. Other sensors include a Vampire infrared search and track system. Countermeasures include four launchers for Nulka decoy missiles, plus four six-tube launchers for radio frequency, infrared, and underwater acoustic decoys. The destroyer's main weapon is a 48-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system, capable of firing RIM-66 Standard 2 anti-aircraft missile or quad-packed RIM-162 Evolved Sea Sparrow Point Defense missiles, with likely upgrades to carry RIM-174 Standard 6 anti-aircraft missiles and Tomahawk cruise missiles. This will be supplemented by two four-canister Harpoon anti-ship missile launchers, and a BAE Systems 5-inch caliber Mark 45 gun. Two Mark 32 Mod 92 tube launchers fitted with Eurotorp Mu-90 torpedoes will be carried for anti-submarine warfare. For close-in defense, an aft-facing phalanx close-in weapon system and two M242 Bushmaster autocannons in Typhoon mounts sighted on the bridge wings are fitted. The destroyer features a flight deck and a hangar to enable helicopter and UAV operations. A single MH-60 Romeo Seahawk will be embarked. Although the designation Air Warfare Destroyer is used to describe ships dedicated to the defense of a naval force from aircraft and missile attack, the Australian destroyers are expected to also operate in anti-surface, anti-submarine, and naval gunfire support roles.